After kicking off Oktoberfest with the story of Dracula, I had the urge. The urge to whip some ass. The first game I played in Oktoberfest last year was Castlevania 1, but today I'm going to be playing Super Castlevania 4. So join me. I got to go through Transylvania. I need your help. Bring your holy water, bring your garlic, because Dracula been acting up again. I'm Lita One, and welcome to... Every 100 years, the forces of good mysteriously start to weaken. Thus, the power of Dracula starts to revive itself. His power grows stronger and stronger every 100 years. Dracula has revived many times. However, his sinister actions have been consistently thwarted by the Belmont family. It's been 100 years since the last confrontation between Dracula, the Belmont family. But now, the serenity of Transylvania is being threatened by destructive forces. On a dark and eerie night, Dracula rose from his grave to unleash his destructive power over the countryside. Once again, Simon Belmont is called upon to destroy Dracula with only his whip and his courage, he sets out to restore peace to Transylvania. Alright, I think that's it. So you got the story, Castlevania, Simon Belmont. What I don't get is if this is supposed to be a remaster or a remake of Castlevania 1, they use the words, once again, Simon Belmont, like he's done it before. Like, if that was true, I love this scene right here. You can see the castle far off in the background. In this game, we actually have to make it through the countryside. But what I was saying, if that's true, that means Simon whipped Dracula's ass three times, <laughs> not just two. But then that would make Simon like what? If Dracula comes back every 100 years, yeah, Simon would be dead, long gone. Maybe it was a bad translation. I changed my mind. I don't think I can do this. Here's one of my favorite themes in Castlevania, period. Every Castlevania has that one starting theme that just sticks with you. This one sets the momentum for sure. I like this track. This makes me feel like I can whip Dracula's ass with a blindfold on. I'm gonna give you a moment to listen to it. I know by today's standards, they like, eh, 16-bit music. It's still good to me. It's one of the best tracks, best soundtracks in Castlevania history. Bone cannons. I hate those guys. What? I blocked that. So the skeletons in this game, I know I was making fun of them in part two. They actually a pain in the butt in this game. So they are a little scary. Watch this. He died a slow, painful death. On this game, look, look at this. He just got all kind of control with the whip. Simon is the best with the whip by far. 
And I hate to reference my other videos again, but when I was playing Simon's Quest, I was talking about how Castlevania 2 nerfed the sub weapons. In this game, you don't need no damn sub weapons. All you need is your whip. Just like they said, your whip and your courage. That's how good the whip is. You almost forget this game has sub weapons. That's another feature right there that was mind blowing. The grapple. They turned Simon into the vampire hunter Indiana Jones. <laughs> so this part right here is what I would like to call the hunted horse stable. And these squiggly things, I don't know what they are. It's a horse stable with no horses. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't know where his body went. These horses must have been tortured. Alright, I think there's a wall chicken over here somewhere. I was wrong. It's not too often when you have a Castlevania game that has a hole in the wall that just gives you a heart. Like, I mean, you could have just put that in a candle. Could have kept that. Watch this, watch this. Bam! Oh. <laughs> Every time I try to show out, man, I mess up. Like, look at the graphics. You can see horses out there in the background. Look at them horses out there. I don't know what they're doing, but the fact that they out there, the attention to detail. Mm -hmm, sorry. Whenever I see chicken, that's the butter knife. In this game, you don't want the butter knife. Trust me. Worst weapon in the game. It's the worst weapon in every Castlevania to me, except for Symphony of the Night. It's actually pretty good in that. Doom, 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 doom. See ya. I'm just gonna take a shortcut. That could have ended disastrous. All right, we're to the first boss. I love the boomerangs in this game. They kind of slow, but they do a lot of damage. Bye. Was that supposed to trick me? All right, so we move past the hunted horse stables. I don't know what, what you would want to call this. Maybe we want to call this the hunted forest. And then we're going to work our way up to the hunted river. <laughs> I'm just going to call everything hunted because it just makes it sound cool. Oh, right out the gate, I got hands reaching for me. Check out this track, though. This music. Oh, man. That thing right there. They used to scare me back in the day. You could barely see them. Let me go. Let me go. Yeah, these predators right there. I noticed on this, too, the spiders. Like I said, oh, Castlevania 2, they were much faster. What is this supposed to be? Like evil uh, porcupines, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> this game does have some weird enemies. Then again, all porcupines are pretty evil. No, I won't say that. I actually think they're pretty cute. I've seen them decimate a, a leopard before, though. That scared me. This is a big jump. And I made it. I see you. Oh, okay, so now we are up to the zombies. Dang, he spawned right at my... You little... He spawned right at my feet right there. Alright. This would be the evil swamp. The frogs are so hard to hit, and they will chase you down. Let me see. Oh, no, he's not chasing me. It's a frog down here. <laughs> uh, don't be afraid to use your whip as a shield. I do it all the time. Like, look, look. He just killed himself. Man, I, I don't know why they didn't carry that on to other Castlevanias. 
It just proves that Simon is the best with the whip. That's all. I don't know. I got a lot of respect for Trevor Belmont as well. Trevor technically was the first guy to whip Dracula. And I think the next, the Netflix uh, anime, I think it's based off of Trevor. I haven't seen it yet, but I do want to see it. You know, here's a fun fact. Trevor Belmont was originally supposed to be Dracula's grandson. Well, wait, not grandson. He's supposed to be related to Dracula because uh, the, the girl Sonya had got married to Alucard, which is Dracula's son. Um, and then they had a kid, which was Trevor, and Trevor killed Dracula. But they scrapped that. Sonya is no longer canon. So Trevor's, like, his heritage is, besides him being a descendant of the Belmonts, like, we don't know much about him. Maybe the Netflix show will cover more about him. Darn it. Stupid bats. I know this is going to sound funny, but when I was a kid, <laughs> the background used to confuse me. The graphics were so good. I used to be like, man, like it, it had a pseudo 3D effect. <laughs> I know I'm a retard. I was like, where do I go? It's, it's just a point, you know, from point A to point B. But the background just made me feel like I can go back there or I can get lost back there. That's a shame. <laughs> There's something over here. Thank goodness, because I am taking a lot of damage. Here's a secret. That's one thing I liked about this game, too. It had a bunch of secret rooms. I think there's some meat down here. Oh, man, that's a whole. What is that? That's like a turkey leg. I think it's really considered pot roast. Simon got a secret admirer in the castle. <laughs> one of Dracula's followers, leaving them chicken wings and chicken legs and pot roast. I don't know, maybe it was for the, the evil guys, who knows? Like I stated in my Dracula video, Dracula treated his minions really well. He made them feel like they were at home. That's why they followed him. You had to be blind to get hit by those things. <laughs> I gotta be serious right here. There's a lot of jumps and swings that can throw me off. I want to hold on to my three shot. And these things, for some reason, you can't kill them. Like they put enemies in games you can't kill. It's like Jack Baker from Resident Evil. You just can't kill him. Nah, Metroid had some enemies like that too. You can freeze them, but you can never kill them. I hate that. Kill them all. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm a peaceful man. Killing isn't always the answer. While I'm sitting here rambling, that's one of the parts I always drop off on. Luckily, I got it right there. All right, so we're coming upon another hard swing. I don't know why this game terrified me when I was younger. I think the music, though, does a really good job of creating this atmospheric environment. Now, when you get to Dracula's castle, that's when it really gets horrifying. So I think this is a good game to have on Oktoberfest. Most of the young kids probably think it's funny, but I would say don't knock it until you try it. And don't worry, I got some other horrifying games on the list that I might not be able to make it through, to be honest. Oh man, I forgot that was right there. Much needed. One of these got a butter knife. <laughs> Don't want to make that mistake. All right, this part right here is nerve wrecking. You cannot slow down. Look what the fish man could do. If that spit hits you, it's gonna send you flying. All right, we 
we got through. I remember that part being a lot harder. I can see your hand. That dude is terrible at hide and seek. I think that's, I'm out of danger now. Why did I jump right there? No! If I would've failed, that would've been it. All right, to be honest, I can't take any more damage. I got a boss to deal with coming up like really soon. Being paranoid. Love this whip. Watch this. Oh, that didn't work out. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it. Did I hit him? I did. All right, we got a chance. Just gotta be real careful. What's this? I know one of those candles got an ax in there. <laughs> oh man, that was close. All right, we're to the Hydra. They call it Hydra in here, but it doesn't look too much like the Hydra. Oh man. Luckily it's the easy one. The other one shoots like three fireballs. Dude, that wasn't even a challenge. That didn't even feel like a fight. All right, the second boss of the game is down. 